Hey folks, how's it going? Thanks for checking out the video. I'm Johnny. We're up to part six on our series on gotchas when working with paginated reports. Today, we're going to look at the absolute insanity <coughs> of working with date parameters. So far in the series, I've already shown how to create date parameters in a report. If you haven't been following those videos so far, I'll stick a link for you here. The report we've been working on already has parameters for from date and to date set up. But take a close look at that report and you might notice something strange. When I run this and select from my date parameter, I get this rather annoying drop down date selector. Now trying to navigate to the date I want to select using this is a really poor user experience. If I want to say go to the 1st of June, select my from date as well for me that's a really rubbish way to navigate wouldn't it be much better if that was a date picker for instance and in fact if you're used to using paginated reports or maybe um, SSRS report builder of old and you've used SQL Server as your source whenever you did set up a date parameter yep it tended to be a date picker that you picked from it seems that reverting to this drop down list is kind of an automated feature that's associated when you create a data set using that Power BI data set and when you use it in conjunction with the query designer. The best way to try and describe what's going on here is to take a few steps back. Let's strip back that report, make it a little bit simpler. So I've set up a fresh report here and connected it to my Power BI data set. And using the query designer, I've created this really simple query. So I'm showing the types of sales channel and then the sales revenue for each channel. And if I click OK, you'll see that the report builder generates this pretty simple DAX query. If I take that simple DAX query, put it into DAX Studio and format it so it's easy to read, you can absolutely recognize this is a simple query and it gives the results that we're expecting. So now what happens if we add a date parameter to that report? Back in the Query Designer and in the Parameters pane, I select my calendar dimension. Calendar date. Make that a range. Tick these two boxes. Make that date range parameterized. If we click OK, we can check out the DAX that that generates. So again, let's take that DAX, copy and paste it into DAX Studio so we can format it and make it a bit more readable. Now, I like DAX and I consider myself quite good at DAX and I really, really struggle to make sense of what's trying to go on here. So it's quite a long query and the first few parts of the query are set in these variables. Now the path functions are normally used with recursive hierarchies and my date dimension does not have a recursive hierarchy so a little uncertain why it thinks it needs to use that path length but it seems to be doing some kind of gymnastics to try and validate that the input from the date parameter is valid and then having set these four variables the query itself passes those variables as a filter to the query so we are filtering the values of calendar date by the variables that have been calculated. And strangely, what it's doing with these date value and time value functions are two things. It's, it's converting text to a date and to a time. Now that is slightly strange because my data model doesn't have date times in it. It does have just date values, which is best practice for Power BI models. So converting to date time seems unnecessary, but also the format of that column in my data model is definitely date. So why the parameter passes some text and then has to convert it to this date time value is a bit strange. Why does the query designer generate such horrible DAX? The answer is, I don't know. 
However, I do recognize that when anybody, somebody develops some kind of tool that has to auto generate the code under the hood, they're gonna to have to bake in some complexity because they need to be able to deal with edge cases. Whilst my data model is simple and well-structured, Query Designer will also need to cater for non-standard structures. So perhaps all of that complexity is there to be able to deal with non-standard situations. But at least that complexity is generated automatically in the background. You don't have to worry about being able to write that DAX, it just works. But if I run my report, let's in the parameters I need from the dropdown. I get the results that I need. But could I make that user experience better and somehow get that to use a date picker instead? Now, if I go into my report and right click on my parameter and select parameter properties, you can see that the data type is set to text and also I can select to change that to date time. Maybe that'll solve my problem. But if I click OK, Report Builder doesn't like it. And the reason for that is if I select the Available Values tab, my drop down list is being populated by a query. And that query is coming from this from calendar calendar date data set. Now that's a bit strange because if I go to my data set pane on the left hand side, there's no data set by that name here. But that's because Report Builder has been sneaky. If I right click here and show hidden data sets, all of a sudden a from calendar and to calendar date query appear. These data sets get generated automatically when you use the query designer to create parameters. They're there to make sure that your users can only select valid values. And I recognize that that's definitely useful when you're picking from lists. But personally, I think it's less useful for dates and for date pickers. So I'm going to delete them. Now I want to go to my parameter properties and select date time. Get the same error message again, but to get rid of that, I just need to set my available value to none here, and also my default value to no default value. I've made the same change to both of my date parameters, and you can see straight away, even in design mode, those parameters now have the date picker icon next to them. So what happens when I now run the report? Unfortunately, I still get an error message. When I expand the details, I can see why. And it's because my DAX query is still expecting me to pass it a string. So there's one more step I can take to get this to work. If I open my dataset properties, and go to the parameters tab, this is where you map the parameters from the report to the parameters in the query. And this FX button allows me to change that parameter value to be an expression. Let's click that. And what I can do is wrap that parameter value which is currently being passed as a date in an expression that will change it to a string is what you need to do. So I've used a little bit of video editing magic. Off camera, I've actually applied that expression to both parameter values. Hit OK now, run my report, still have my date picker. And my report now runs. Yay! Now just to reiterate, this craziness with the date parameters only seems to happen if you use the auto-generated DAX that you get from the query designer. 
I still think that if you're starting your journey with Report Builder, the Query Designer is the easiest and best way to get going. And so if you do want to convert your date parameters to be date pickers, the method that I've shown just now, I'd argue is the simplest and most straightforward route to take. But there is an alternative, which would be for you to customize the DAX. So back here in DAX Studio, again, this is the DAX monstrosity that was created for us by the query designer. But personally, if I was writing this report, this is the DAX I'd write. How much simpler is that? So if we were to take that DAX, copy it, go back to Report Builder, remove the auto-generated DAX and replace it here. So I run this now. That still works as well. And using that custom DAX, I didn't need to use the little trick where I had to convert my parameter from a date to a string. I could just pass it straight through as a date time. So in my eyes, that is a more efficient method. Technique using the query designer and then converting our parameter from a date to a string so that the DAX can then convert it back from a string to a date seems really, really inefficient. Why not specify a date and execute it as a date? However, it just maybe needs you to be a little bit more confident in terms of actually writing custom DAX. So if you're just getting started, perhaps that first technique is going to be a better thing to, to go with. So there's a bit of an explanation for how date parameters work when you use the query designer with a Power BI data set. And I've given you two methods there so that you can convert that date parameter to be a date picker, which personally I think is a much better user experience. So returning to our Contoso sales report, I've now added this feature to it. So you can see here my from calendar date and to calendar date now have date picker parameters. And and run the report from the date picker accordingly. But I think it's fair to say that this report is still really ugly. So you'd be pleased to hear that next week, I'm finally gonna give the report the makeover it deserves. Let's get this thing looking sexy. Yeah, let's face it, it's only ever business intelligent nerds like me that ever refer to reports being sexy. I hope that's been useful. As always, if you've got any questions or feedback, please don't be afraid to slide them into that comment section below. If you have enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow along for more Power BI content, and especially if you want to follow this series about paginated reports, please, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks once again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.